Hello everyone, Justin Patton here. So yesterday I posted a picture about emotional bankruptcy and how so many of us enter relationships emotionally in debt and or emotionally bankrupt and expect our relationships to work. And one of my followers, Kathy, commented, she goes, I get you, she goes, I, it's time that I go on an emotional diet. And I love that term, so I followed up with Kathy and I said, help me ex explain that to me what you mean by it so I can create a video. So I just wanna give you a couple thoughts about how so many of us need to go on an emotional diet. And she explained it as kind of being more emotionally thoughtful because sometimes we react too impulsively. You know, one of the elements of great leadership we know from emotional intelligence is impulse control. And so many of us, sometimes in relationships, don't <laughs> provide or um, honor our impulse control. And so let me tell you why it's important. Now think about trick-or-treating. So when you're kids or when you were younger and you went trick-or-treating, you go out and you get all this candy. Imagine what would happen, right, if you just sat down, threw all your candy right in the middle of the floor and started eating all of it. When we got done eating it, right, we might have loved the experience of the moment, but we feel sick, we get that icky feeling in our stomach, and it doesn't leave us with a, with a great feeling long term. And so relationships and our emotions and our stories are the same way. So many times we go into a relationship and if we try to offer all of our stories, all of our baggage, and we try to express all of our emotions right away, it's overwhelming to people. And just like the Halloween candy and just like in our relationships, our emotions, our stories, and our baggage, people need them in doses. And that requires us to really operate and um, have stronger impulse control in our relationships to know how much trust do I have in this relationship at this point and what is um, the right amount of information to share, the right amount of feelings to share, um, how much do I talk about my past and when do I start to bring that in. Because once I build a level of trust in my relationship, people have a higher, a higher tolerance for being able to accept and receive the stories, the baggage, and the emotions that you're going to provide them. So... Thank you, Kathy, for sharing your feedback with me. I think we can all learn a lesson. I think sometimes we all need to kind of go on an, emotionally, an emotional diet and to be more thoughtful with our emotions and how, how not just when we share them, but how much we share them and when we do that to people. Um, it's just having stronger impulse control, higher emotional intelligence, create stronger relationships in our lives. So I hope it gives you something to think about. Appreciate it. I hope you're all having a great weekend. No one tells you today they believe in you. I believe in you. If you like this video, like it, share it on Facebook or Twitter, and I can't wait to see you all next week. If you have any comments or you have any other um, ideas or feedback, I would love to have them so I can think about them and reflect and do another video that might help people. So keep, keep your comments coming, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everyone.